What's going on, you guys? Kenny here, also known as Silent Fan 85. Welcome to another quickie, uh, to another quickie. Kind of mumbled there. Um, there is a lot going on in the U.S. right now. A lot of scary stuff happening. There, but it's actually a combination of things happening. Um, and a lot of a lot of times we forget that. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that precedes other things and stuff that happens at the same time. But overall, let me say this uh, before I get into whatever, because with this quickie, I'm going to try to make it a few minutes, but there's obviously a lot going on. Um, we're all human beings. We're all humans being. We're surviving. We want the best for what we can get. Uh, we want the best life we can get. We need what we need. And when people can't get what they need, uh, civil unrest tends to follow. Obviously, there is a lot of people being left behind. Financially, medically, whatever. Um, and if certain needs aren't met, or aren't able to be met, or if violence happens to somebody that didn't deserve it, and it happens for too long, well, crazy shit starts to happen. So, let's break it down. There's been a lot happening the last since 2020 started. Uh, COVID-19 was obviously something big. We're kind of coming on the tail end of that. Obviously, there were deaths involved. Now, we're looking at the George Floyd event. May you rest in peace. Um, it was total bullshit. What happened to him? We've all seen the video, and if you haven't seen the video, I wouldn't recommend watching it, but <sighs> the man died unjustly. A lot of people would argue otherwise, whatever. Look, the fact is... He was brutally held down. And because of that, he lost his life. It was ill practice of a police officer to do that. In fact, it's scary. It's scary as hell. But that doesn't mean that every officer is that way. The officer in question wasn't human. Or maybe he was at one point. But obviously, something got to his head and power overwhelmed him. You can't do that to people. Now, this is leading to protest. Decent civil protest. And people using those protests as a way to loot and pillage. And do unsavory things, causing violence. It's not the protesters a whole lot that's doing this. It's people that want to get at stuff and burn it all down. For the most part. But look, again, we're all human beings. Chaos is a part of our nature. Evil things happen. Um, but it's up to us as individuals to recognize what's happening and do things the right way without people getting hurt. Police officers, citizens, military, politicians, whoever you are, we're all human beings. Decisions are going to be made Ripples will be made throughout society because of those decisions. People will fight back. People will rise up. It happens throughout all of our history. And we as Americans, especially, should be able to recognize when we are in a bad way. Everybody has rights. Everybody needs to live, wants to live, wants to survive. And that's what we're here for. Reform may happen. Protests may happen. Revolutions may happen. But when it gets down to it, we all just want to survive. We all want to live our lives without having to worry about bad things happening from those in power, from those in authority. And that's essentially what this is all about. And on the side, you've got people causing chaos, using that veil of protest, and it's, of course, angering the wrong people, and they're thinking, you shouldn't have the right to protest. If you do, I'm going to carry a bat or a gun around and enforce the law myself, even though I have no actual authority. People have the right to protest. They don't have the right to loot and pillage, but they have the right to protest. And for those that don't like it, Welcome to America. We have our rights. 
Welcome to the rest of the world, too. We are who we are. Anyway, stay safe, stay sane. Remember, you're awesome. Never let the world tell you otherwise. See you.